got, um, this is a pound of uh, boneless chicken breast that I cut up into cubes already. So we're gonna start that here with a little bit of vegetable oil. Get that. All we need is a tablespoon. Okay, get rid of that. And heat that up. We're gonna cook this with, and this is a, you know, a simple um, variation. You don't have to cook it all day, whatever. But we're gonna put our chicken, we're gonna put it with a little garlic. We've got a teaspoon of garlic here. We've got some onion. We've got some green pepper, some mushroom. Then we're going, uh, some spices, parsley, crushed tomatoes. So we're gonna, um, I'm gonna cut this up while we wait for the oil to get hot. And I noticed today as I was down there shopping that green peppers are 83 cents. So we're using everything. I thought that was a little bit expensive, but I guess they haven't come in to the people's gardens quite yet. So we're still gonna use all of it though. And I, I like this. This could be a um, crock pot dish if you like. I would go ahead and uh, brown your chicken just to kind of give it a little bit of that flavor and then just stick everything in your crock pot and uh, let it kind of simmer. And if you want to, here it says um, egg noodles to have it over that. If you would prefer some other kind of pasta or spaghetti, that would be fine. And that doesn't really matter. Tonight you're just having it plain. I'm gonna go ahead and put that chicken in, see if we can get that started. All right. And I like to put the chicken and the onions and the green peppers and kind of save the mushrooms for a little bit later when we get it started to cook. You know, this re particular recipe calls for all this diced or chopped. Um, I, when I've made this at home, I like to leave the pieces a little bit longer. But that's, you know, just kind of personal preference. Because it does sort of cook, you know, it cooks down, so it's not like you're getting a giant piece. And this is a good recipe to have, of course, when the fresh vegetables come in. Even making the sauce without the chicken, it's a, a nice tasting sauce and then you can whatever can your sauce and okay, I'm starting to sizzle. And then just add the chicken in later. All right, we'll go ahead and put the onion in, which I did already chop up, and our garlic. I think this tonight might be one of those where we're starting a lot of things and you'll have to keep up. Because I think we're going to go ahead and start our black beans and rice. So I can kind of let them both cook at the same time. And I'm going to put that in. There's my pot. Okay. So we're going to let this cook. Okay, this is good. We're going to throw our mushrooms in. throw mushrooms all over. Okay, so we're just gonna let that keep cooking. That's looking good. We're gonna go ahead and put our, we're gonna cook it down a little bit more because uh, the mushrooms are still kinda not cooked. But here's our uh, Italian spice, our dried basil, our salt and pepper. Go ahead and put that in. And I think we're just gonna go ahead and add our crushed tomatoes and then everything will be in here. We'll just let this simmer a little bit. So crushed tomatoes, you don't need to drain them or anything, just put the whole can in. So 
that's good. We're going to let this just kind of simmer and it will be done. I'll check in our magic oven to see if I have one in there. This looks good. garlic bread to sop up some of that extra sauce. Okay, so there's our chicken cacciatore.